Now let's look at the image manipulation. We can load images onto the magazine template in one of two ways. The first way is by hitting the upload button and selecting images from our computer's hard drive. Or if we've already uploaded the images into our Blue Frisian library, we can just hit the select button and choose an image that we've uploaded. In this instance, the girl's face clearly isn't um, taking up the full space of the magazine. So we need to increase the dimensions of this image to fit uh, the full page. We click the pencil icon by the side of the image and we use the second bar on the pop-up menu that displays. It's called scale with a percentage number by the side of it and if we move to the right it will increase the image size and if we move left it will obviously decrease the image size. In this instance we want to make it bigger. I'll exaggerate this by making it 180% bigger which we can see is clearly not going to work with this template. So we'll take it down to 123% as an example. Now we might be happy with the way the image is on the magazine at this point or we may want to move the image slightly to the left, to the right, up or down. To do this we use the dial above with the self-explanatory um, arrows. Um, what is important is the scale here. With every click of the dial the image will move a certain distance and that distance is dictated by the bar here above the scale bar, the entitled move. If I only want to move the image a small distance, for example a quarter of an inch, um, I'll set the bar to the far left and click the image, uh, the arrow to the right. If that's too much, I'll click it back to the left. If I want to move it a vast distance, I move the scale to the right and click the arrow in either direction. Clearly that's too far. Now, all of this image manipulation is important for the magazine because the template has got boxes and borders that the images sit within and you clearly need to make your image work within it. Um, for an example, if I take the bottom left image of the baby crawling and I decrease it in size, for example to 40 odd percent, you'll see that the image no longer works within that bounding white box. So you will need to play with your percentages to make sure the image works with the template. In this example, I'm going to actually blow the image of the baby up um, because I don't want the father in the picture anymore. I'll make it 163%. And then I shall increase the scale of the move to an inch each time with each click. Move the baby up, move the baby to the left. And when I'm happy with the image, I can save it. Um, and if at any point I want to revert back to the settings of the default image, as, as the image was loaded, looked when it first loaded, I can click these two arrows in the middle of the dial and it will reset the proportions as they were originally intended.